We're live on WNCW in Studio B with Nefesh Mountain. Let's hear another tune. Sure. Well, we're going to squeeze two, two quick ones into this, um, if that's okay. And uh, two songs from the new record. Again, the new album is called Songs for the Sparrows, and we're going to play, we actually are going to play the title track. It's called A Sparrow Song. And um, I'll say very quickly that we did take a trip. We kind of referred to it a little bit to Eastern Europe. My mother, my mother-in-law brought us to Poland and Ukraine uh, in summer 2018. And um, we, we went to these small towns where our families were from. And it's hard as Jews to go there and not deal with, with um, World War II and the Holocaust and the devastation. And I'm not going to get too much into it. But the Sparrow, from that trip and then from coming back home, there was, there was this incident at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and there was that, that shooting which, was, which completely like rocked the Jewish world and, and Jewish communities. And um, anyway, from those things, we, we started thinking about somehow we, s we saw a lot of sparrows by the house, and these birds were like these small but mighty voices. There's tons of songs, of course, written about sparrows. Dolly Parton's got Little Sparrow, and, and Paul Simon's written great songs about sparrows. And there are these a great totem for the small but mighty voice that's for us that's been oppressed, that's been discriminated against, um, the, lo the lives and voices lost in the war, you know, and all that. So we've kind of dedicated this album, um, and I know I'm, I sound very somber right now, but it, we dedicate it in a positive way, hopefully, to all these voices, to these, these small but mighty voices that didn't get to really sing their song. So a Sparrow song is about that. And as an intro to it, we're gonna play real quick um, a song that I wrote. We're going to feature Mr. Alan Grubner on this one. He just plays it so, so beautifully. Um, this is called By the Carpathian Candlelight, and it's just a little, this is definitely more of an Eastern European sound, so it's fun for us to play it. And uh, Carp By the Carpathian Candlelight and A Sparrow's Song. <laughs> Folks at home, my banjo thinks it's back in New York, so... going to be good enough. Oh, little bird, I hear your song. You've been overlooked for far too long. We've met before on the ancient road, and we share a tale and a pain both new and old. Die-da-dum, 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 die. 
Wonderful. Nefesh Mountain, live on WNCW in Studio B. Thank Song you. for the Sparrow. They're always trying to make nests up on my porch or somewhere. It's mm. like, you know, I love that you like my house, but like, please, <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in preparation for our chat, I was 
taking notes on all of the accomplishments and awards and superlatives and I ran out of room because <laughs> it's just cool. crazy. It's like, okay, so uh, books, you've written a couple of books, Donnie. Mm-hmm. And that's just for starters. And then everybody in the band has got like, like certificates and awards and, and all of these <laughs> other things outside of music even. These guys are killer. Yeah, we're, we're really, we love our band. Yeah. So, uh, well, how about the books first? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> a while ago I, I, I was doing children's music and I came out with a cookbook and another and a children's book. But that's yeah. just, that was just a, when I had little, my kids were very, very little, I, I did that. We have teenagers okay. back we, home, right. by the way, for <laughs> listeners who are getting confused about our kids. We have a right. baby on the road right. with us oh, three right. months, okay, that. and we have our son and daughter Millie and Xander back home who are driving and taking SATs and going to college. So when so, those guys were little, I did wow. it's a children's circus. music and some ch- kids' books. Okay, great. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's brag on this band here because yeah. tons of talent, lots of lots of things going on in their world. They don't have mics though, which is the best, right? Just don't give them. <laughs> but we do want to talk about some of the things they've been up to. Can they? Yeah. Anybody have Should any? Should we talk or on their Do you want to talk for them? Or can they? Can they? They can walk over. Oh. They can walk Do you want to come over and say something? Or do you want to just let us yeah. brag about you, I guess? Or Give them like a brag session? Yeah, brag session. I mean, it's just, it's just, just there's, there's honestly, maybe? there's not that many groups where I'll talk to them and there's like every member of the band has something outstanding. Let's, let Max talk a little bit. He's been composing a lot, doing tons in COVID. Let's do like a little elevator pitch up. Oh, hi. I'm Max Johnson. I play the bass. Hi, Max. What, what would you like to know? So, nine solo records? I mean, come on. Nine <laughs> solo records? Yes, that's true. There's an, uh, some, some more on the way, right? <laughs> well, you know, do a lot of things. The thing that's weird is he's only nine years old. He's like, <laughs> and he's young yet, right? Yes, I'm <laughs> seven foot tall and nine years old. <laughs> um, you know, David, mandolin, uh, like won all of the contests apparently for mandolin <laughs> yeah that was uh yeah there was a time when uh actually i still think contests are kind of cool um, i have a friend who did one this weekend and i was kind of excited talking to him about it but yeah the uh, national mandolin contest 2015 telluride band contest in 2008 or 9 rocky yeah yeah i like contests that, i mean that's pretty <laughs> stiff i mean that's that's saying a lot when you win when you win those it's it's like a goal you know it's like something that if if you're a player if and you're interested in having uh an end date to like put something together that you get to perform for a unique audience that's like a fun thing to you know throw your hat throw yourself into the hat mm-hmm. yeah is that, is that a phrase <laughs> <laughs> it is now i'm having i'm having trouble finding the english language <laughs> It's Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Almost all of the protein supplements have gone to his head. <laughs> this is also more work than any of us have done <laughs> on a Monday, <laughs> in and more so, b- more social work than anything in the last year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and Alan on fiddle, you you're you're featured in a film. Uh, you've also got your own record called yeah. Long Road Home. Oh yeah. Hey, thanks. I have the record. Yeah, it's called uh, it's called Long Road Home. It came out uh, a while ago, and uh, but I like it. And there's a lot of people on there that I like a lot. So it was real fun to make it, and uh, it's real fun to be here. Thanks for having us. Great. Yeah, much fun with Netfish Mountain. If there's time, I would just add a quick. You know, all these guys are amazing bluegrass players, um, friends of mine, but also really to me have a very unique voice on their instrument and like beyond unique and also come from big improvisatory jazz backgrounds. You know, we're all interested in a lot of different music. So, and we bond over that kind of thing in, in the group. So besides for just on paper, the, you know, the Judaism and the bluegrass, the combo, I, I really playing with these guys is, is a dream for me to write music and write different styles and improvise and compose. And it's just fun. So I'm grateful for it. And they're, they're menches. They're menches. <laughs> indeed. All right. Which means they're just sweet people. Awesome people. Yeah.